to make those little slips. It happens. You have to have a plan to manage your problems effectively. How are you going to do it? Fall off the horse, you jump right back on. With one of our favorite recurrent faces here, okay. Jenny Lovell. Yeah. Uh, we are getting ready for another session of Brook It Down with, with Jenny. Jenny. Yeah. And Jenny, you know what we can confidently say about you is that you are a woman of your word because we talked about covering love languages and mm -hmm. we're starting today. Starting today. And we, we'll, we'll do one language at a time. Okay. Yeah. Because it's that important it's that, that we important. all understand. It's that important. It, you know, it, it creates puzzleness to a lot of people to hear. When I, when I, when I read it and to hear a uh, love language, I <laughs> think hey, probably Spanish. <laughs> probably some French, you know. That's what I thought. It, am I correct in saying that this is what we're talking about here? No, we're talking about the emotions. Ah. The emotional love mm. language. Uh, right. So, and, and we, we speak different languages. It, we really do. I've had people take the test mm -hmm. and it's like, wow, that's what we've been doing wrong. What test? Oh, I, I let, let me get right into it. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, I want to ask a question though. This is kind of feeding into the idea of men are from Mars, women from Venus. Is it, would that be the case? Or just that two people are very different? Two people are very different. Mm. Okay. Um, and you know, the thing is, is like when we first meet, when we meet, you go, to, it's this infatuation period. Yeah. He calls it obsession mm -hmm. because we just want to be around that person. We can't think, we can't concentrate. Yeah, yeah. 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 we're happy, yeah. happy, happy. That lasts for about a year. And then after a year, you know, it starts to wane. Mm -hmm. And at, at best, that obsession, mm -hmm. infatuation period may last two years. Mm. But after that, then it's hard work. Mm -hmm. And you know, by three years, people, if they're married, they want out. These young people want out. Yeah. The older people stuck it out. Mm. To right? seven? Is, isn't there like a seven year? Yep. The seven year itch. Itch, yeah. yeah. After marriage or relationship wise? If you're living together and you're, you're, you're in a relationship. Mm. I guess people don't seem to get married anymore. I don't know. Um, he spoke about I it this said morning. That this morning. He's like, no, I don't love the wedding. I said, well, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Different I circles. Know. Different circles. I guess. Yeah. I guess so. But um, uh -huh. so so the the thing is is that after that, you know, the three year, two years. It's actually two years. Mm. People want to just like pull chucks, you know, get out. It's like the mm. euphoria wears off. It wears you off. know, like that first time after falling in love it's just everything is easy you know what the things that they loved about you two years later <laughs> they, they, they hate about you oh, oh. Thinking <laughs> about it, don't worry about it Jenny. The yeah laws were cute right <laughs> you know and, and this is one of the things that we see on a daily basis this is happening all across the world not only here in belize uh -huh. so this test is very important for it's folks very to listen important. up to yeah. it's, really, it's really important so, so from a book Yes, the book is called The Five Love Languages, and I hope somebody brings them in, mm -hmm. because people really need to read this book. Yeah. It is fabulous, mm -hmm. and it changes your relationship mm -hmm. if you work it, okay. if you do the things that, that he recommends. So, why are the love languages important? Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> generally you don't meet somebody who speaks the same love language that That's you do. True. You really mm -hmm. don't. And it's so important to know the love language of your spouse, your partner. It, it's important if you want this, this relationship to last, mm -hmm. right? But more importantly, you need to know your own love language so that then you know how to do things properly for your spouse, mm -hmm. right? And also for yourself. Yeah. You know, to keep your love tank full. Mm -hmm. I might be jumping <coughs> the gun here, but how do one recognize their love language? Well, first of all, you take the test. Mm -hmm. yeah. So here we go right here. <laughs> ah. You're just jumping right ahead of me, John. Yes. <laughs> He's eager to know what his love language yes. is. He's yes. never done this test before. I've never <laughs> done this test before. Okay. I've had people take this test and I'm telling you, it changes their relationship. Yeah. It totally Once you take it with your partner, it's even better. Even better. Yeah. But just knowing for your own self. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because it, it validates and, and, and concretizes for you yeah. the things that you do. You're not crazy, you know? <laughs> this, is, this is who I am. Mm -hmm. 
So can I give an example? So yesterday yeah. was Valentine's <laughs> Day, and I think maybe some people are waking up a bit disappointed about what they received for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, it could, they could have gotten the most beautiful arrangement, uh, but they still don't feel that love. Mm. Or they could have gotten a great home cooked meal, but don't feel and that love. love. Uh -huh. And it wasn't that your partner didn't try. Yeah, they just said it in the wrong long, uh, love wrong language. language. Oh. Yeah, makes sure. a bit more sense now. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, indeed, indeed. yeah. I'm excited to see what this All right. is going so, to be like. The, I've put here, I've put the um, the address where you can go and actually do the test yeah. online and it will spit out your love language yeah. for you. Okay. You don't have to go and code it or yourself. Yeah. So go to that, that site, yeah. right? The other thing you, you can do so that you can work on yourself and learn more about yourself and how your love language works, and you can work it with your partner. It gives you some corny little exercises to do, <laughs> and they are corny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think if, you, so. <laughs> if you're with your partner, it may not be a bad idea to do it sometimes when you have some time, right? <laughs> it's called love nudge. Love right? nudge. Yeah. Yes. And, you, and you can nudge the relationship, you know. Yeah. It's, it's little things, it gives you tips of little things you can do. Yeah. Okay. And you do the test there, too. Yes, you can do the test there also. Yeah. Okay. Now, <coughs> the author talks about having a love tank, right? And we all have a love tank. So I like a little aquarium, you know, or, or a tank or your, your gas car, tank. Your gas tank. Mm. You know, as you drive every day, because you do things every day, yeah. the, the gas goes down goes and down. down. You have to replenish it. Well, just like that with your emotional lovey-dovey side of you, you need to replenish that. Yeah. And your, your partner, your spouse, can help to replenish that, but you all have to know how to do that okay. using the proper love language, okay. right? Yeah. So it empties out. Um, when you're getting a lot of emotional love from your partner, right? Your, f your love tank is pretty full. And if he's doing that or you're doing that every day for him, you guys are going to stay in love forever. You will. Okay? So there are five love languages. There we go. <coughs> <laughs> the first love language is called words of affirmation. In fact, I'm, I put them all down just to give you uh, yeah. what mm -hmm. they are. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one is quality, quality time. time. Right. The third one is receiving, receiving gifts. <laughs> not giving gifts. Like yeah. you have these people who love to get gifts, mm -hmm. right? Mar what Merlin was just talking about. Mm -hmm. So they, um, the spouse goes and cooks this lovely home cooked meal, mm -hmm. but she was expecting a, a ring or mm -hmm. she was expecting jewelry, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And so she's unhappy because she doesn't feel that her Valentine. She's yeah. disappointed. She doesn't feel love. So right. he gave her an act of service, service. and quality time, right. but she really wanted. To receive, to receive gifts. Yeah, gift. because that's yeah. her love language. That's yeah. her love language. It, it, it could be controversial there. I, I, you know, and reason being is because um, when it comes to, for me, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, when it comes to giving a gift, wouldn't you give what you could, what you could afford? Wouldn't you give what you've got? And wouldn't it be receiving a gift? But again, what is her love language? I guess this is when you get to know her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. receiving gifts is one. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and acts. it is an act of service. I love that. Yeah. Acts of service. Mm -hmm. there, there's some people who like, who are, they, their love language is acts of service. You come in and you take care of the kids. So when I get home, you have supper cooked. I'm tired. You know how a lot of women complain that when they get home, their husband is home, he's watching TV. And, and, the, kids are are, and, yet, and the kids are hungry and hers is acts of service now if he would prepare a meal for the kids get them doing their homework when she comes in all she has to do and he rubs her foot oh my you know <laughs> that might be love for her that's, that's her love language her, yeah okay good yeah i don't win i don't win i don't win <laughs> I, which which boy is down to physical Depending so, yeah but you don't know what her love language is <laughs> it's not what you think it's what what she needs <laughs> yeah. yeah oh gosh i'm yeah. loving this right? yeah, yeah. So that's a part of the physical touch. No, that's, no, not yet. that's, that's a service. service. Wow. Okay. Physical touch. You know, these are the people who enjoy. You, they, you don't have to give them any gifts. You come and hug them. Yeah. Or you rub their back. Or stroke know. their hair. Yeah. yeah. Or, or, you know, like you have some men who come and, and sort of just like brush your, just brush sit there and brush yeah. your yeah. hair. 
Yeah. I remember yeah. when, when yeah. you used to sit down and your parents used to scrape the dandruff out of your head. You get sleepy. Or even just closeness. I mean, right. you're not talking just intimacy. It's like if you're going to cuddle yeah. while you watch TV. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Right. So what happens is, do you have to be one? Like, am I exclusively only a person that loves quality time? See, sometimes you could have... Like maybe two of these are the s- you have the same amount. Oh, yeah. So you might have forty percent of words of affirmation and forty percent acts of service, mm. right? And then and the rest are like less, right. five, five and ten. Right. So, but it's, it's the ones that you have the the highest um, percentage that would be your primary and your secondary. Okay. Some people have both equal. Yeah. Right. Those are the, they have two love languages. Yeah. Yeah. Right, poor oh. man or poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. I have two love languages. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm getting this. I'm getting the hang of it. Whereby when you do this test, it actually gives you the ability to reckon what your love language is. Right. If you find out what hers and what yours are, that's when you meet in that yeah. corner, right. and then it continues to burn. Keep that flame right. burning. Right. So if ah. if I'm in a relationship mm. and the person I'm with mm-hmm. thinks that. As a woman, I might only, uh, I, he shows his love by sending gifts. Mm-hmm. And for me, this is 5% of my love language. Mm-hmm. It's actually quality time. So, what you so you're loving me in a way, and I'm not really, and that's why I'm saying right. the people who wake up disappointed today on Valentine's right. Day, wow. it's like you could have gotten the best gift. Right. But maybe what you wanted was just some quality time. time. You were off your phone. Right. You were together, together, bonding. Yep. I am loving this. Yeah. So we, we could continue. And right? I could, <laughs> I could have, in the same way with my partner, perhaps mm-hmm. uh, decided that I would uh, cook a meal. Yeah. But not say anything thoughtful or loving or, or appreciative, yeah. mm-hmm. and yep. he won't feel loved. Because I didn't say anything. anything. Yeah. Now do you understand why it's important yes. to see yes, the yes, other yes. person's yeah. love language? Yes. So that then you are able to meet their love needs. No, it is a win the uh, for the fact that if I know uh, what <coughs> your love language is, and, and then eventually that's where, I could, that's where I could touch. That's where I could make yeah. my move there. Mm-hmm. And it keeps the flames burning, like I said. Absolutely. Yeah. So exactly. this is, yes. Exactly. So it's important to yeah. take that test. Now you want to take yeah. the test? Yes, I want to take that <laughs> test. Do you make you take it on TV? No. <laughs> I'm so close. So close. Fantastic, got it. Loving it. It's a fun Friday with Jenny. All right, so we go. <laughs> so, um, I'm only I'm really going to cover words of affirmation today okay. because it's so important. Yeah. Right? Um, but before I do words of affirmation, I kind of just wanted to touch on these right here. Okay. Um, quality time. Mm-hmm. This language is about giving the other person your undivided attention. attention. All right? Your undivided attention. That's words of affirmation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. There we go, yes. Receiving gifts for these people. Feeling loved is receiving a gift. And that doesn't mean that they want something expensive. They would like, they like gifts. You, that's, how they, that's how they know that you're showing yeah. love. Okay. And then acts of service. These people, they're, they're, your actions speak louder than your words. So I come home and you have taken care of the children. You have, I can come home and actually sit down and relax. I think I have that one too. Yeah, you think that's one of your priorities? I'm the pretty one sure that's one of my yeah. love languages. That one is a natural for me. I, I enjoy taking care of my kids. I enjoy yeah. cooking a meal and I enjoy the look on the face when they say thank you daddy or thank you babes. You know, something to that extent from yeah. my wife, you know. I do I, hope that's one of her love languages. I hope so too. <laughs> you need to know. Yeah. yeah. That's that's your love language. Because you're probably making a lot of effort to it show is. love yeah. and if it's not her love language. Yeah. It is though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to go back now to words of affirmation. So <coughs> we didn't do physical touch and Oh yeah. Did I miss that? Yeah. Physical Come touch. on, Jenny, physical touch, man. <laughs> yeah, physical touch. So we did it quality time, acts of service. <laughs> um, words of affirmation. I don't know. Anyway, we go back physical right. touch, yeah. So physical touch. This person, nothing speaks more deeply than appropriate touch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So cuddling, 
-hmm. Cuddling is, is that's a big one. Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't have to hug me up on the street, but shoot, when you hug, when you hug me, and yeah. I, I pass me and pinch me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> when you're driving in the car, whole hand. Whole hand. Yeah. 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 We love that. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> that that you're not for that's that's a big one. Yeah. And that's a big one for a lot of people. Yeah. But it's so important that you know, okay? So I want to get here because I don't want my time to run. Okay, good. Doing this. <laughs> so since we talk, there are five love languages, five. and we're gonna try to cover them over the course of your different appearances for Brooklyn right. Town. Okay. Today we're doing words of affirmation. affirmation, and I really want to encourage people to take the test. So when we come back with the next one, yeah. They can, we, they will understand, or at least they will relate and say, "Okay, I want to learn more about this particular one." Yeah, because that's who I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or get the book, or go online mm -hmm. um, and and get the information. Yeah. yeah, but I really recommend that everybody reads the book. It's yeah. so important. Everybody I've had take this test; it has changed, changed their relationship and, and the first way they time relate hearing together. Hearing about this test. Oh. Yeah. It and really it seems to be definitely a changer because, again, when you know what your spouse is looking for, mm -hmm. then that's where you touch. That's where you go. Mm -hmm. See, man, come on, Jenny, man. Words of affirmation. And even, and even better, she does the same thing for you. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that's yeah. where Mutual. we meet in the middle. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's yeah. how things continue to burn. I love yeah. that. I'm looking Absolutely. forward to this stuff. Okay. okay, so words of affirmation, the words are used to affirm, to, to make the person feel good, mm -hmm. right? They build up. They build mm -hmm. the person up. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the thing is, is that um, the, he gives the example of this, this woman who constantly nags her husband about fixing the garage, right? And he just doesn't do it. And so the, the um, psychiatrist asks, him, um, asks her, do you compliment him? Do you talk to him? Do you tell him? You, you do anything like that? No, because I'm upset that he isn't fixing the garage. Yeah. Right? Well, you're not going to get anything done. When you're nagging somebody, they'll just dig their heels in and they won't, they won't do it. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But if you affirm the things that they do on a daily basis, several times a day, they will happily go out and do things for you. They'll come and offer to do things for you. Mm -hmm. Right? So, first thing, words of appreciation. We're still talking about words of affirmation, words of appreciation, verbal compliments. And I don't mean corny things. Yeah. Compliment the person on, on things that they're doing. You know, sweetheart, I just absolutely love the way that shirt looks on you. Yeah. I, you, you know, you make me so happy when I watch you bassy flap down the yeah. street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, Bunch I love flat. I love the way you take <laughs> care of things at home. Yeah. Or yes. always make yeah. sure we don't run yeah. out of X, Y, and Z. Right. Yeah. Just just little things, of words of appreciation. You know, I am I am so happy you're in my life. You make my life so much richer. Yeah. Just the lovely statements that are meaningful and you mean them. Authentic. Right. You're not just saying things just for to be corny yeah. or to because you want something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I want to say the behavior you pay attention to, you get more of. Mm -hmm. So if you're constantly nagging because he didn't do something, guess what? He's going to continue to not do things. Mm -hmm. So catch him doing the things that you enjoy and compliment him on those things so you get more of or it. Or continue. Or her. Yes. Yeah. And, and this works with children too. You know, yes. the children have love languages. I was going to say. But yes. Yeah. So if you treat your child, you know what your child's love language is and you treat your child with love and, and you do all these appre things that show appreciation, that's what you'll get more of. Yes. Okay. Words of encouragement. This requires empathy. Empathy is learning how to walk in that other person's shoe. Sure. And I keep saying him because I'm a her. Yeah. Okay. But your partner. But it's your partner. Yeah. Right. Um, it, it's, you have to learn what's important to your partner, mm -hmm. which is why I highly recommend that both, both people take the test. Yeah. Because then you, you, you learn to be empathetic. You learn to you understand what your husband is going through. Yeah. He comes in and he's tired or he's had a hard day. You can see on his face that he's had a hard day, right? You, you want to encourage him and encourage him to do things that he might be a little bit shy about trying. That's, that's as, as a partner, that's what you do, right? 
Does that mm-hmm. make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Jenny. Everything you just yeah. said, I had to play out in yeah. my head. Yeah. <laughs> I'm playing it or out because... Or if there's a tough day yeah. coming up at yeah. work or probably struggling with the boss or the mm-hmm. co-worker yeah. Yeah. or, you know, um, saying something to encourage yeah. them. Encouragement. Like that you can do it mm-hmm. or... Yeah. Encouragement for me, encouragement works as the shield to when it happens again in the workplace or uh, among friends. Mm-hmm. So when you encourage that individual, that simply means, because it's coming around again, when it comes around mm-hmm. again, those words of encouragement is going to be the blocker. So you're still feeling good about yourself. Mm-hmm. And I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's, we, we continue. Mm-hmm. We continue. The next one, kind words. You know, the Bible says kind words chases away wrath. Mm-hmm. Right. Instead of just down in the your your partner constantly niggling, ning 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 ning, if you said something, <laughs> if you said something <laughs> nice, you say something nice to them, right? Turn that turn that that nagging way, nagging into, way yeah. into yeah. something more positive. Stop bringing up the past. That's a big one. You know, and you, you have f- um, folks who are going, they're having a, an argument about something that happened just now. And you go, oh yeah, I remember when you met that is 10 years ago, 20 years ago. <laughs> they bring the whole ch- kitchen sink in. It's so destructive. It is. It's really yeah. destructive. The way we say things, the, the tone of voice that we use, we have to be so careful that when we're talking, this is a person that we say we love. This is a person we have children with. Mm-hmm. We really need to be very careful about how we talk to them, mm-hmm. right? And use loving words, loving a loving tone of voice, mm-hmm. right? Resentments. If you have a lot of resentments against the, your partner, against this person, resentments will show up, mm-hmm. and they will show up in, in, in negative ways. Mm-hmm. So very important that you, you, if you're angry about something, you talk about it right away so it doesn't become a long-term resentment. Yeah. Right. And forgiveness. Kind words. You have to forgive. Come on. We're all human. We all make mistakes, and we will continue to make mistakes as long as we are human and alive. Of course. Of course. Right. And so learning to forgive your partner. Asking for forgiveness. Say, I'm sorry. I mean it. And then make sure that not just ask forgiveness, but don't commit the same thing again. Yeah. Okay. Um, humble words. Mm. Being humble, having humility, requesting, not demanding. Your partner is not a child. You know, we have. I, I sometimes you see people out in public and they talk to their partner like they're a three-year-old, and mm-hmm. it's mm. oh my gosh, it's so horrible to watch, right? Um, we really have to be humble when we're dealing with another human being yeah. Yeah. and not turn your partner into a child because they will resent it. Yep. They will resent it. So when you request something from your partner, you want to affirm their worth and their ability. So you ask in a nice way. Mm-hmm. Or if you have to share something that is not so positive, you find a, a, a loving way, a loving way to say it or yeah. to ask for it. So those are what cover words of affirmation. Mm-hmm. Questions. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're all just like stumped into silence. No, so what I want you to, to, to ask, so this is really for someone whose words of, when they do the test, they've done the test and mm-hmm. they realize that, okay, out of my 100% love tank, um, my love language is words of affirmation, yeah. maybe 40% or 50%, yeah. you know, that's really strong. Yeah. Um, so that means if I'm not getting those kind compliments and if I'm not getting the thoughtful, uh, well-timed, empathetic statements, I don't feel loved. Right, right. Yeah. And not only that, if, you, if I'm with a partner who nags mm-hmm. or I'm with a partner who constantly puts me down yeah. or is sarcastic, I'm not feeling loved. I'm, I'm ready to fly the coop. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so it's not because the partner doesn't love you. They, yeah. They're they, just not loving you the right, right way. way. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's deep. Exactly. Um, one of the things that came out to me or struck out to me is forgiveness. Uh, but one of the things as well that people don't see a lot is how genuine someone is by being forgiven and then taking for granted. So how can you how can you see these things and then? Uh, know for a fact that when you forgive somebody, that they're genuine about that forgiveness. Because if they forgive you, they let it go. 
Mm. They don't bring it up again. So, and I hear people say, I forgive, but I won't forget. forget. Then yeah. you did not forgive. Then you did not forgive. Did I'm not glad I said that to me. No, and, yeah. and sometimes letting go is more a gift to yourself. Thank That's you. how I see it. But, but it is a gift yeah. to yourself to not carry that around. Yeah. Because pretty much what you're doing, it's like um, you drinking poison and expecting the other person to, to die. die. <laughs> Seriously. Mm -hmm. You know what I imagine, like what's coming to my mind while mm -hmm. you read it, which is why it was so pensive? Imagine men who have words of affirmation as their primary language. I don't know how common it is that women would be that empathetic and thoughtful and considerate in the words that they use or how they embrace. Or the tone of the voice. The tone of voice, you yes, know? Yes. I mean, I think it's, it's very stereotypical that we imagine a man complimenting a woman, but very rarely do we have examples of women affirming men in their words. Yes. Good. Yes. It's and true. that it just kept on ringing to me. It's I'm true. like, imagine if I am a man or imagine a man who's in a relationship with a woman who loves him mm -hmm. and his love language is words of affirmation, but it's such a foreign concept of what we know. Right. <laughs> and you know, you know what, what I think is very sad because in our country, we were not, we're not a, we're not a, a group of people who genu who hug a lot. Mm -hmm. Hispanics do, but we, we don't. I love hugging. But a lot of our people don't, yeah. you know? When a, a lot of our touch is for sex, it's not, mm -hmm. it's not just about cuddling. Cuddling, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, or, or if you go and cuddle, uh, your partner thinks, you're okay, you want sex, and I'm not in the mood because yeah. I'm mad at you, yeah. Yeah. right? And really and truly, I just want to come and cuddle to make up with you and, and tell you I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Right? So, but for men, seriously, we don't affirm our men. We don't compliment our men. We don't say thank you a lot of times mm -hmm. for things that they do for us. Or show the words of appreciation, appreciation as you said, because right. it's almost understood, you know, you take care of things. Yes. So I was, I was really thinking about that because yes. I could only imagine how hard it must be to be in a relationship if you're a man and you're <coughs> primary love language is words of affirmation yes. yeah. and your partner doesn't know then you would really feel unloved unloved yeah, yeah. yeah. struggling in the relationship and you know what's or, funny or just I, I, not only unloved but just dissatisfied yeah. yeah and you know what's funny about that uh, that you brought up there marlene is that um, it normally boils down to the excuse of saying i wasn't brought up that way we weren't mm. given words we, of that. We nation. hear that a lot. It's so there are a lot of there are a lot of ways that could eventually stop these things. But the thing is, we're giving you the information. Take the test. We're gonna take the test. Yes. Find out what your love language is, and let's learn about it. We can be such a loving people once we we understand how to do it. Mm -hmm. mm. And so this this is why I thought we just do one at a time rather than try to cover everything in, in the time period. Uh -huh. I like okay, it. so today yeah. we covered words of affirmation. affirmation yes. Next up, what's going to be the next one we cover? Um, it's going to be quality time. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a big one. Yes. Mm. <laughs> because quality time is really, really critical. <laughs> it is. Okay. And it includes not having your phone. <laughs> That's right. So <laughs> it's going to be very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> or that iPad. <laughs> yeah, or TV. <laughs> it's undivided Ooh. attention. attention. Yeah. Right? So, so we talk. This has been so fascinating. And, you know, I think everybody has homework now, right? So you're going to go yes. uh, Google five love languages. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. There's a book. If you want to order it and read it, you could download on, the app. Too. On Kindle, yes, yeah. you can get it. And uh, find out what your love language It's a simple test. It's mm -hmm. just choosing one over the other. And then you find out what your and love be, language is. Be honest. Is. Yeah. It's very important that you're honest when you're doing the test. Yeah. Because you want to know about you. Yeah. Don't, don't do it... Um, don't say things because you want you think you're, you think that's what yeah. your partner wants to yeah. hear. This is for you. Yeah. Your partner's doing um, hers for herself. Okay, but okay. it's best to do it together. So well, this is no, no, like you both do it. You both do not it, but you don't have to do it together. together. Oh, okay, yeah. right, there we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. All right. and then share the results with each right. other. Okay, and then. Tune in in uh, two weeks' time, where we're going to have Jenny back again, yeah. and we're going to be moving into the second love language. We may do two, because that one isn't as, um, it isn't as long as the words of affirmation, yeah. mm -hmm. so we may do two next time. All okay. right. So we're All looking right. forward to it. So, okay. thank you very much for being here, and we appreciate it. My pleasure. It. My pleasure. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and take a break. When we come back, 
we'll be talking about the Belize Guatemala friendly game coming up after the break. slips it happens you have to have a plan ability to manage your problems effectively how are you going to do it fall off the horse and jump right back on mm -hmm. 